Today, Castle Hill Infant School came to visit Fairfield Primary School to do some learning walks about RRR response partners. Castle Hill would like to find out about what response partners are and how they can be used and Fairfield would like to know if classes are using them effectively in lessons. So, what is a response partner? A response partner is where you work in pairs to get things done. Does anyone like to add to that? It, we also, um, if we get stuck, we ask your, our response partner as well. Can you give me an example? So, if somebody, if you're working with your response partner, if your teacher was asking you to, then um, you would pet, you would go in your response partners to work with them, and if you get stuck, they're there to help you. When we go on our learning walk later, what kind of behaviours would we like to see? Um, being listened, because we all got the right to listen to it. Both talking, both listening. During the meeting, we discussed what behaviours we would like to see in response partners and what behaviours we would not like to see. Working together and talking to each other and you would like to see them getting along, like not being horrible or nothing, would you? So, good behaviour, talking to each other, working together, um, listening to each other. Okay, what would we like to focus on when we are doing the learning walks later on? Amelia? Um, we want to focus on um, looking in classrooms and looking at the response partners. The best ideas were put into a grid to be used in our learning walk later in the day. So I'll print those out and we'll have those as we go on our learning walks later on. Remember, we're just focusing on those things, so don't worry about the displays up in the room or anything else. We're just looking at that response partner work. We got into teams of children from Fairfield and Castle Hill schools. We went off to see activities that use response partners to see how well they were being used. In the classrooms, we were talking to each other about the list of criteria. We ticked off what we thought we saw was good and what we saw needed to be improved. When they fell down, when all the ice bags fell down, what did he say it was as slippery as? Slippery as a mountain. After the learning walk, we held another meeting to discuss the interesting things that we saw. We clearly found that there were more positive things than negative. So, we've done our learning walk, now we're going to discuss what we found out. Would you want to go first? They were listening to their partner. Okay. The response partners were respecting their partner's ideas and, and, and the other response partners respecting the the um, response partner's <coughs> ideas. So when um, and if they, when the teacher was telling the children to listen to listen to her, they were all listening and stopped talking. I think it will be good to have response partners, so you don't always have to um, tell the teachers to help you. So then you can just tell them, and they can come and help you straight away. And then the teachers can just relax and do whatever they want. Overall, we found that children were respecting their partner and their ideas. In school council, we will put together some suggestions of how teachers can make sure every class is using response partners effectively.